There was something in the news that could potentially affect the Gigafactory. Mm-hmm. Not just the Gigafactory, but, you know, the whole electronics industry generally. Yeah, like the whole world. <laughs> Anything that takes a battery. <laughs> um, it was a new technology. It was pub- It was an article published in Nature Energy, I think. So a big journal. Mm. Um, and there were some news stories about it. And it was basically about uh, a new type of battery concept that they've come up with. Uh, which is a lithium a type of lithium air battery yeah so the battery concept itself is isn't that new some the concept has been is. around yeah yeah, yeah yeah sure sorry yes yeah so it's a new type of lithium air which is so a lithium ion battery is obviously what is used really widely now in yeah. electric cars and phones and laptops and just fucking loads of stuff yeah um and like we're all familiar with phones you, you know they, they're just it's a limited technology in the sense that yeah they you have want- a lifetime. You can only charge them a certain number of times before they start losing their efficiency. Yeah. They get hot. They don't last that long. All that stuff. Any any improvements in battery technology are going to make a huge difference to loads of different sectors of, of industry. So, so everything from mobile phones to laptops in terms of battery life electric vehicles particularly tesla you know they're if they have better capacity they're going to be able to drive further if they are smaller lighter batteries they're going to be able to be more efficient drive yeah. faster There's so cetera, much so much of the weight of a tesla or it's an just electric car it's just a battery. giant amount of batteries yeah yeah exactly and they're lithium-ion batteries yeah yeah absolutely, uh, in the yeah. tesla so it's a new con it's it you said the lithium air concept is an older concept yes um and it basically just replaces various parts of the internal battery with other, other the cathodes and anodes are made out of different things but mm-hmm. we don't need to go into that in too much detail um but essentially you can get potentially a huge improvement in how the in the capacity of those batteries uh from lithium air sorry from lithium iron to lithium air yes and this is basically a redesign of lithium air which allows allows because lithium air has like a weird thing where you have to have actual air well, yeah, I mean, circulating it's, into the battery in order air. to oxidize the lithium it's using oxygen from the air so it's literally like your phone would be breathing yeah <laughs> it would have to, it would it would literally have to have holes in the back yes to literally. breathe yeah exactly yeah <laughs> to exchange the oxygen yeah um and so they've designed it so you can incorporate this oxygen actually into some sort of some what was it as a cobalt um, yeah like a co- uh, some kind of cobalt matrix yeah um cobalt oxide matrix yes yes. with all these it's like a i mean the chemistry of it's kind of slightly a bit weird yeah but it's it's lithium superoxide that you put in the pore spaces of this Mm -hmm. weird sort of cobalt foam almost um yeah and the whole thing is self-contained in the same way that just a lithium ion battery is yes so the same way that your the battery in your phone right now doesn't need to breathe yes exactly (laughs) These, these these would be look the same and sort of be functionally similar but just have just because of the type of reactions they're carrying out and stuff mm. have a just a greater energy yield yeah. and the materials are lighter as well yeah so essentially they've redesigned the lithium air concept t- to look more like a yeah. lithium ion battery they've they've inna- they've had some breakthroughs in some materials technology that's allowed them to change the design so it doesn't need these open vents and things in it um and consequently you potentially have a battery that can do at least they think double at the moment the capacity uh, for the same mass of a lithium yeah. ion battery with just their sort of experimental prototype with just their experimental prototype which is you know going to be refined heavily they think they'll be able to double that again um, they don't know how much further up uh, lithium air batteries apparently can have the same so it's the, sp- the specific energy which is like the the amount of energy per mass mm. it can contain can be 5 to 15 times greater than lithium iron so you know that going down that road you potentially need to very 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 to big fi- yeah. gains yeah, yeah, yeah. in the amounts of energy we can be storing in batteries um, yeah and there's as far as they can see you know there's no real big kind of cost barriers the the technology is not particularly like different or advanced or anything than anything we we're using before it's not particularly it's not going to be particularly dangerous it doesn't have any of the drawbacks lots of lithium air concepts have lots of drawbacks in terms of they get very hot when they're charging they have short lifespans they're quite unstable various bits and bobs um and it's also quite hard to keep the the ducts and 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 pores open inside these things yeah i mean it's a bizarre thing to have you can't have a just just the idea of a battery open to the environment is just and if those things get clogged up it's just just well and part of the part of the thing is they're really sensitive the lithium air batteries are really sensitive to humidity and stuff in the air which is which is very costly to to mitigate you know you have to have very very high cost materials in there to kind of filter out the yeah humidity and all that crap 
And also carbon dioxide is apparently really bad for them as well. So all of that has to be scrubbed from the air. I think a beetle just flew... You know that beetle that was running around earlier? There's a beetle in here. <laughs> it just flew into the light. Uh, anyway, yeah. Oh, it's going to die in there. No, 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 it fell out of the light. Oh, okay. But it flew in and... Well, maybe anyway, maybe you'll come, come and join us and have a chat about war or something. It's one of those stink bugs, I hope not. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so it looks like a, a, a potentially a big breakthrough. Yeah, and they reckon they can take it a year from now, they can be at the in a process uh, get to a point of being able to manufacture these yeah i think it's like in a breadboard kind of lab state yeah. at the moment it's yeah. probably like a, a pot of you know electrolyte and and yeah uh, and yeah with a, stuff with a bit basic. of metal in it and this like you know lithium oxide things you know it's a, probably a very bit diy kind of diy type uh yeah like breadboard type instrument at the moment yeah. but at they yeah like you say a prototype in a year uh they're already talking to manufacturers about taking it to market and they've got a patent on it um so, it's about time we have something like this. I was just about to say we've we've been stuck with lithium ion for a long time yeah. now. Well, it feels like a long time. I mean, it was like old the old lead batteries, you know, the double A, yeah, the like big old Duracell, fa- yeah. or whatever. Yeah, we had those when I was a kid. Yeah, sure, same. Jam them in the Game Boys, <laughs> and um, you know, we 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 moved on to lithium ion, and it felt like uh, I think lithium ion batteries were around for a while but they only really came to be in everything and weren't ridiculously expensive, you know, when the sort of mobile phone kind of revolution began mm. to happen, I suppose. Yeah, or laptops, maybe. Laptops, yeah, laptops. Before I can't, that. I can't, yeah, I don't I know. can't Some, really remember. Yeah, neither can I. I don't have a, a good idea. something I was very history. aware of at the time. I was all, no. obviously pretty young anyway, sure. so... But anyway, for at yeah. least, at least sort of, you know, I don't know, 2000 and sort of late 2000s so like 2005 6 7 something like that till now they've been in everything yeah and there's been no sign that there's going to be any advancement yeah and think um, about how much the technology that they're powering has changed in that time hugely hugely and they've just sort of just they've gradual got incremental different um, you know been iterated improvements on. Yeah. but nothing like the kind of fundamental step changes we've had in the in the actual phones that they're powering exactly exactly um so that that may be i mean th- this concept of the lithium air battery has been around since the 70s so this and it has been long been looked at as an alternative mm. potentially we're getting to a point now where we you know we have it, it maybe maybe in two years time say we ha- will have quite obviously a paradigm change in the capacity or just a you know a big shift in the 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 capabilities of batteries that we can store and and put in uh, phones laptops electric cars etc etc which which will make a massive difference to particularly an industry like tesla particularly a a company sorry like tesla which does beg the question you know how ready for it are they have they have they gone too far down the road of building a lithium ion battery producing factory so, or is this similar enough? I mean, the materials are essentially the same that you need. Is it similar uh, enough that they could they could sort of step sideways into it and just continue? Well, I did I did hear Elon Musk say a long time ago. I'm pretty sure he said that that that, that someone did ask him about what do you do if there is a big step change in battery technology, mm. and he said he didn't expect one, but it wouldn't be potent, probably that mu- that bad to refit the factory to build specifically this new type of battery technology whatever it was yeah. provided it wasn't radically different yeah 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 um, and it sounds like it wouldn't be radically different it would the, tech, the chemistry and stuff would be different to, to produce the, the anodes and cathodes etc but in terms of like what you're producing it would be kind of the same package of item it's not like now it's a gel that you inject into the you know it's, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's not yeah. totally different yeah. um, so maybe they'll be able to go back and I mean they're building a, a gigafactory to it's going to be it's going to be a while before you get to a point where this technology, even though it's very promising, is going to replace or be oh, yeah. absolutely oh, yeah, cost yeah, yeah. effective or match for, you know, cost benefit type thing with lithium iron. So it's going to be, I don't know, five, five, at least five years away. If, if, if it is, ex- everything goes well and it's as good as they say, maybe 10 years away. Um, so they've got to run the Gigafactory and produce at that scale. With lithium up until iron. that, up until that point, anyway, yeah. with lithium iron, um, and begin changing over to it. I, I don't. It's not like I, I don't see this as like a mistake of Tesla trying to build a giant factory. No, sure, um, sure. I just, I'm, I'm also familiar with that with that quote yeah. you just said from Elon about how he doesn't expect the step change. Yeah, but and, he did also say he didn't think it would be that hard to go back and refit yeah. the factory. I don't know if that's changed because they've maybe changed the design of the factory since then. It's more I mean, specific it's, it's, now. It or... sounds like so. For, there are two things. For a start, 
this is obviously if it works and if, it, if it's scalable and if it's um, commercially viable this this battery we've just been talking about is a big deal it's a big change but yeah. maybe it's not like as big a step change as he was referring to anyway ah. maybe it's not quite as fundamental a change as say like a radically new technology sure. it, it still is you know lithium chemistry still is sort of it's kind of similar in, in the way that it runs it's just optimized and uses a slightly different chemistry um and secondly it is quite similar i mean the raw materials that yeah. are uh, so cobalt and lithium are two of the most common m the most uh, abundant mm. raw materials in lithium ion batteries and they're yeah. also going to be the two most abundant materials in these batteries yeah. um and yeah as you Wouldn't said you you're still making like a little box thing that you're going to stick in your car or you're going to stick in your thing could essentially be exactly the made to be exactly the same size fit in exactly the same you, know, you pull out the battery from your laptop and shove in one of these and it fits perfectly yeah it just has twice the power yeah it might be that or you might end up having you know smaller battery packs in cars or smaller battery packs in laptops yeah. etc which makes them lighter but um but you could that would like be a... specific down to the the model of vehicle or the model of laptop the, yeah the the production doesn't sound like it's going to be radically different yes so that, that's what i mean I, it seems like this isn't a giant misstep it's not a giant misstep no and they could potentially just transition into it if it does prove to be like fucking amazing yeah which it might they can just sort of trans in, transition into it after they've already been running the factory for a little while producing lithium iron. Yeah. So that's that. I mean, that's a. Uh, they're probably thrilled at this news. I would imagine they're not like, oh, not yeah. crap. We're building a gigafactory that's like, going to be oh, producing what, the doing? <laughs> what they're actually probably thinking is, if this is, you know, if this is for real, then our cars are going to. I mean, lithium air batteries get to the point where the, um, the they match gasoline cars i think for sp specific energy mm. yeah i think that's right um or they get they to the point do. where they can do yeah um so and it, you know that they're, they're going to end up being way more efficient than gasoline cars at converting that fuel to energy and yeah. stuff so it's i think they're probably absolutely thrilled that there's something like this potentially in the pipeline provided it is it's like we haven't done anything and there's just suddenly our cars are yeah. like twice as powerful they or, have to or pay whatever. through their arse though to get hold of it probably yeah probably but the thing is with so they patented it the uh, academics yeah. I think who are building it Tesla might buy the patent off them maybe because mm. they want to they want to open source everything don't they mm. Mm. anyway forgetting the patents now because I, I still think there would be a lot of excitement about these types of breakthroughs Definitely. in the um, EV community and at Tesla particularly yeah